Hi, my name is Shannon Casey, and this is my OFE presentation. The organization I got to work with this semester is Jabberwocky Studios, and their mission is to use the arts to enhance equity and inclusion in the diverse community of Columbia, Missouri. They offer a range of dance, art, theater, voice, and STEAM classes at their facility, as well as offering personal tutoring outside of their establishment. And that is what I got to do this semester. Um, I got a tutor, Reuben King. He also goes by Benny. And we would set up times together each week. We were both available. I'd pick him up and we'd go to the Columbia Public Library, which is pictured on the right. Most of the time we would work on catching up on his geometry homework, but some days we would go through his online courses and see what he needed to complete for the week. Benny is a very bright junior um, at Hickman High School here in Columbia that moved from the US, or moved to the U.S. from Uganda just four years ago. Services like tutoring and the other programs Jabberwocky provides are needed because it is extremely overwhelming even moving from state to state in the U.S., let alone coming from another country where the culture is completely different. The opportunities that Jabberwocky provides at such a low cost to these families just starting their new lives over here are very helpful in acclimating kids and young adults to our overwhelming society. I feel honored that I get to work with such a smart kid that just needs a little help growing in this new environment. One of the stakeholders in this organization would be the community it is serving. They tend to work with refugees and other minority groups around Columbia. The decision that Jabberwocky Studios make um, on a daily basis heavily impacts this stakeholder group's involvement and opportunities in our community. If the studio decides they need to raise prices for their classes, certain individuals in the community may have to end their membership because they cannot afford it. That brings me to the second stakeholder at this company, which would be the staff. The staff at Jabberwocky must be less focused on material values and more focused on making an impact in Columbia for this organization to work. Most of their decisions have to be centered around the minority groups they're wanting to help instead of white, what might be best for themselves. I truly believe this is what they do and what has led to their ultimate success as a company. Um, the competencies I have most developed through this OFE um, were establishing relationships and empathy. From the video in week four titled Establishing Rac Relationships Overview, our professor stated, Recognizing those differences, different things where the clusters exist and where they don't is going to help you be more influential in that space. I think this is an important concept when it comes to building relationships and networking that I learned throughout my work with Jabberwocky and in my everyday life this past semester. You just may stay aware of the groups. You must stay aware of the groups, excuse me, and people you are working with and adapt yourself around that. I want to be very professional during the onboarding activities and things like that when talking with the head of the company I was working with, but I wanted to build more of a personal and friendly relationship with Benny because I thought that was the most effective way to teach him in his studies. That brings up a good point, um, or the book brings up a good point about empathy. It says that putting ourselves in someone else's shoes causes measurable changes in our cognitive style, increasing field-dependent thinking. I thought this was by far the competency I had to rely on most this semester because I focus a lot on putting myself into other people's shoes on a daily basis, but I have never had to do it with someone that has such a different lifestyle than myself. I think that putting myself in Benny's shoes, especially on the days when he maybe didn't text me back in time or wasn't home when he said he would be, helped me from getting frustrated with him and ultimately I grew as an individual. Um, my key takeaways, I would have to admit that I saw a lack of professionalism within myself during this semester working with Benny. Because of my busy class schedule and extracurricular schedule here at Mizzou, and then Benny's differing high school schedule, we had to set up special times each week instead of picking a consistent time. Some weeks were more challenging than others to set up times, and Benny and I would just communicate over iMessage, which would also sometimes have caused some issues. Overall, it worked out, but I wish our schedules were more compatible so we did not have this problem. I think inconsistency is overall just harder to work around. So looking back, I would have tried to set up a consistent weekly time. Um, my other takeaway would be that just my experience at Jabberwocky has shifted my perspective regarding refugee and minority groups around the US. I used to not give very much thought to these groups because I did not think there was a large population of these groups, especially in the middle of Missouri where we are, but there's a relatively large community that gains from the help Jabberwocky provides. Um, 
I have come to realize during my time with Jabberwocky that they're just taking the necessary steps we should all be taking to help these families um, become accustomed to their life here. You may have to put yourself in their world, in their minds, and realize how scary at times it can be to be in a completely different environment. And these are my references, and thank you for listening.